Ash United TV. I'm joined by assistant manager Andy Heald. Andy, what did you make of today's performance against Oldham Athletic? To be honest, I'm delighted. Um, we we played Macclesfield last week and we tried a, a few different things, but it, it just didn't didn't click, didn't flow. Um, and uh, what's been really pleasing this week is everything that we've been working on in lockdown and COVID in terms of like bringing Mark Robinson in, bringing Nicky in, bringing all the analysis team in, Nicola. Um, we've done everything that we've we set out to do, so we've managed to really, you know, in a way, um, Michael said it this week, I'm, I'm glad that happened against Macclesfield in terms of that we weren't at our best um, because we've, we've been able to really analyse it, have some really good discussions with the lads. They've got used to use all the different systems that we started to do and we've seen it come and then product today in terms of the, the phases of play I thought we were the better team um, and we played far far better the, 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 the phases that we played uh, I'm not sure we had more possession than them again we'll see after the game um, you know more shots needed more more final third doing a little bit more but you know I, I'm delighted yeah I'm really really pleased Would you say then that the 2-1 scoreline flattered them in the end? I definitely yeah yeah it's like the, obviously the, the second goal um it's a fell whack ass his eyes all out and he's poked in the eye and he's let it play on it's bobbled in the bottom corner it's you know I'm not even worried about that and the first goal's an own goal and we've just not woke up but um, so I'm not really worried about the goals and the result but we should have yeah we did enough to win the game um, but no it's a you know massive credit to, to Oldham Athletic for coming down and you know the fans here today it felt like real again and we're, we're back playing and, and Keith and his, his, his staff and have been been outstanding in terms of how they've approached the game it's been great chatting with them and I wish them all the best Who were the standout performers for you today? Oh, there was a few I think Tom Bentham did great he had a, a a big role to play up there in terms of and, with it, and it's a lot that we've kind of looked at in terms of using them as that, as that anchor man that link player um, to play off but there was some I thought Michael Reigns he's steady Eddie all the time he controls a back four and being able to really really build off that but um, and I think that's Michael Brewster's best game um, you know he's, he's worked hard as he does and he's, he's calmed his game down today and I thought he uh, thought he did well but there was there was so many good performances today all over the park Final question sporting a lovely white tee can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah so it's the charity that Aston Hall has been doing and he's been speaking with Michael um, and I think after what we've seen on the on the TV over recent weeks with Denmark and Ericsson and even closer to home with Ben's brother um, it's a it's a massive charity as a junior football manager myself um, you know I think more needs to be done about getting defibrillators and, and really raising raising attention to the charity so we're really proud to support it today and um, I wish Ashley all the best with, with supporting and we'll continue to do that here at the club Perfect, thank you very much